Welcome to our 5 on 5. We're pleased to be joined by Deputy Chief Laura Zila from the Grants Pass Public Safety. Laura, thank you for coming in. Thanks for asking me. All right, so let's talk about uh, you're retiring in a week. Congratulations, first off. Thanks, yeah, surreal, very <laughs> surreal. I would imagine. Tell us, how did your career start? I started actually with the Josephine County Sheriff's Office in 1983 as a dispatcher and did that for about three and a half years and uh, kind of developed, uh, knew I wanted to be a police officer since I was 12, oh. but when I started with the Sheriff's Office as a dispatcher, knew I was not ready to be a patrol officer. So spent three and a half years dispatching, uh, became a defensive tactics instructor, started shooting, got on a competitive shooting team, started doing everything I could to prepare myself. Yeah, and tell us about some of the obstacles uh, that you faced in, in your career and, and, and some, how you overcame them, I should say. Okay, great. Uh, you know, I started on patrol in February 1st, 1987, and uh, they, the thing they do for you is they put you with a coach or what we call an FTO, field training officer. Mm -hmm. So I had three weeks of training uh, with the coach, and, and I would say this, that I had some folks who were definitely supportive and very helpful. And then there were others who kind of wanted to stand back and watch to see if the girl could make it. Yeah. And uh, I remember sitting at briefing uh, after three weeks and we were getting our assignments as to where we were going to be for, you know, north or south, Cave Junction, sure. whatever. And all of a sudden I realized I wasn't going to be with my coach that night. After three weeks of training, I, <laughs> I'm on my own. And so that was a challenge because really the only thing I knew was... Uh, how to find an expired license plate. <laughs> yeah. But I became very good at traffic after uh, <laughs> after that. What advice would you give to young women as they begin their careers and in, in advancing through them? Oh gosh, you know what? Um, it, first off, this is a physical job. Mm. Um, so make sure that you're in good physical shape. Have a, have a regime as to how you're going to do that, uh, working out, things like that. Um, go to school, get your education. And this really applies to men and women alike. Mm -hmm. Uh, make sure you have your education and um, have a passion for this. When you're coming into this, know that this is what you want to do and know that you're going to have to give some things up, but you're going to get some things. I think it's real difficult for women in law enforcement because a lot of times we want to have a family mm -hmm. and we're the ones who carry the child and yeah. that that's very, very difficult. Um, fortunately, I had my children before I started my career. Oh. Yeah, I started, my youngest was 11 months old, but uh, oh, wow. Yeah, but I've watched other women who have struggled with that, wanting to have a family and wanting to have a career, and some have uh, been able to do it very successfully. Very cool. All right, well, we're going to take a quick break. We'll sure. have much more with Deputy Chief Zilif in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our 5 on 5. We're joined by L Deputy Chief Laura Zila from Grants Pass Public Safety. Deputy Chief, we're talking uh, about obstacles or in, in, and how, how it's, you know, kind of incremental goals. Is that is that something you, you value? Oh, absolutely. You know, you're looking at a career of 25 to 30 years. And uh, for me, especially, I kind of looked at it as a five-year career. So five years, I would have certain goals in mind as to what I wanted to do. And uh, fortunately, in law enforcement, there's a lot of different things that you can do. So, you know, I was blessed to be a school resource officer, a DARE officer, training coordinator, accreditation manager, uh -huh. firearms instructor. I mean, it just, it, it's not just about being a patrol officer, which I absolutely loved. There were so many other things that you could do. And as you begin to kind of reach out and do those things, other opportunities arise as well. Yeah, fascinating. All right, so, so you're retiring a week from tomorrow, yeah. March 30th, your last day. Congratulations again. Thanks. thanks. <laughs> I can't, you can't believe it's here, right? It, it, no. My, my gosh, no. Uh, you know, it's 12 years old. I wanted to do this. And, yeah. and now all of a sudden, it's, it's big. I mean, I've been doing this for more than half my life. Yeah, that's, that's very cool. Be weird waking up the first day that I don't have to do uh, it. I can I imagine. I'm okay, not so, on vacation. <laughs> so you're, you're still involved. You're going to be involved, in you, as you've been involved, with RCC. Tell us what you've been doing there. Yeah, Road Community College has a Reserve Officer Law Enforcement Academy called ROLEA. And I've been so blessed to be able to coordinate that for the last three years. Uh, young folks, or any folks actually, uh, any age, it yeah. doesn't matter, have an interest in law enforcement. This is a way to actually improve your opportunities when you're sitting at that oral interview and they're asking you, gee, what have you done to prepare yourself? Mm. And you can say, I attended an eight month law enforcement academy and we use the same curriculum from the DPSST Academy. Oh, wow. Just what any regular police officer is gonna go through, our folks go through as well. Very cool. Oh, it's, it's, it is amazing, the opportunities to see these folks coming in, the energy, the, the desire, and to be able to share your passion and you know that this is about service and something bigger than yourself. 
Very nice. Deputy Chief, pleasure to meet you. Congratulations. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.